Hello, I'm Richard Vobes. I'm the bald explorer out on another exploration. And this time I'm in West Sussex. I'm close to Chichester and actually close to Goodwood. I'm here to meet Dump Man. Yes, I've been looking forward to this for a long time because we're going uh, investigating a disused railway. And here he is. Richard. Hello, Dump Man. How are you doing, Richard? The uh, bald explorer. It's nice indeed. to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Now, you've brought me here because this is the gem in the crown of disused railways in Sussex as far as I'm concerned. So where, 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 I've said we're near Chichester, I've said we're near Goodwood, where exactly are we then? It's pretty close, this is, this is Singleton Station that we're going to have a quick look at, or the, the remains of, uh, which is very close to West Dean in a sort of north-south line between uh, Midhurst and Chichester. Yeah. Right. In the Downs really. In the Downs, mm. yeah, okay, and you're going to take me to see a tunnel later That's on. That's the plan. Wow, I'm looking forward to it's it. It's going to be good, so am I. So, uh, let's let have a look. lead on. So, and in front of us, first of all, buried in the bushes, not in the bushes, but behind the foliage. Singleton Station here. This is a station building. Now, this is, yeah, this is actually occupied at the moment. It's not sort of derelict. It looks a bit derelict, but it's... It's rented out, I believe, by the West Dean Estate. Um, fabulous architecture. So we can't go into the old house, because as you say, it's rented. No, but, no um, we won't be doing so that. So wh where are you going to take me then? Well, if we just toddle up here, this is the sort of vehicle entrance to the station. Right. Um, last time I came, didn't get uh, told to, to go away. Okay. So I'm faintly optimistic that this might be the case still. No fences in the way. Fantastic, we can just walk around. So um, you are uh, have a fascination for disused railways, don't you? You have a website, you sell DVDs, you've been yeah. out um, on famously your, your chopper. Yes, the chopper. Um, Didn't use the chopper on this particular occasion because it's too overgrown. Right. So the chopper, I have any opportunity to get the chopper out. And you, so you make videos, yep. you sell them as DVDs, yep. and you basically go around, if I've got this right, you track the old routes, even though many of these railways lines, uh, the, the, the roads, have been built on and yeah. uh, have, have, are disappearing. So you're, you're keeping the heritage alive. It's really trying to give the impression of being sat on the front of a loco and travelling that journey as faithfully today as you can do it. And you sell these DVDs all around the world? Yeah, actually. It's, that's a strange thing. I mean, there are ex-engine drivers in New Zealand, uh, Australia, Canada, various other places who want to see the places that they drove trains in in the 50s, you know, and what, which is what, great. What got you started on this? Uh, my dad, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, in the late 70s, taking me walking along old railway tracks. And, and, and you just fell in love? Yeah. How amazing. I was amazed at how much work had gone into them. And some of them were only open for 50 years. And that just seems an absolute crime. So, so the least, least we can do is come and worship them now. You know? Yeah, before they completely disappear. So tell me about what, where we are and what we're, we're seeing in front of us. We're, in, we're up, up at the uh, platform level at Singleton Station, three quarters of a mile a platform built here. Wow. To serve the Goodwood races. So they, so people were coming from all over, yeah. London, Chichester, I wherever, guess, yeah. to see the races and coming on three quarters of a mile yeah. platform. That's pretty amazing. So what you've got here, this is the, uh, this is the old goods shed. Uh, very overgrown now, actually. It's uh, changed a lot since I was last here. D did you say before, technically, this is somebody's shed? Well, it was used by a vehicle dismantling chap uh, some years ago, who I met. You know, I think I filmed this in about 2008, and he was using the five-ton wooden crane, which I think is still in there. And uh, he was using that to lift out Land Rover engines. Wow. And uh, he let me walk in and see it. It was fabulous, you know. So have a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Just look at some of the, the rather amazing architecture here. Um, and it's... I mean, it looks completely untended to since 1955, doesn't it? Look at and, those colours. And, that, and that's when it, it stopped being used, was it? Um, Round about then? Yeah. Well, Not down to the beachings. Passenger cuts. traffic, 1935. Wow. And I think for goods traffic, 1953, maybe. Oh, OK. Someone so they're still beaching. shunting backwards and yeah. forwards. So this is part of the platform here. That's right. The sort of a loading area here. If we walk down this way. This is where you would have had trains pulling in for the, for the races. So there's a double bay here, there's another double bay there, and another single one 
on the far side. Wow, so and, and, and a subway that goes under to connect right, it to yes. them all. I mean, if you didn't know what they were, you would be hard-pressed right. to work out where, what you were coming through, other than the fact that, of course, it's a very straight line. That's right. That more more that visible in the winter, but, uh, but you can still see the brickwork people yeah. out there. You've got the, this sort of Staffordshire blue on the top. So that ahead of us, then, is the station house that we saw at the beginning. That's right, that's the top of the station house. And you would have gone there, and that's where you would have bought your gone tickets. Gone in, got your tickets, gone into the subway, and then emerged up on the platform. We're just going to try and get down into the uh, the old subway now, which I know excites Dumpman very much, so here we go. This is, you can see the old railings. Oh yeah, the beginning beginning of a railing just there, look. And the steps going the down. The steps are very slippery. Okay, I'll try not to fall. Have you got your ticket? <laughs> Which platform are we uh, coming down from? Have we just arrived from London? We sort of get the sense of theatre here, you yes. know. I, I have no idea where we're going. <laughs> wow, look at this. As we come down here. Obviously a bit of storage Someone's now. Someone's garden shed here, so. so... That's the way to the station. That's the way into the station, and then through here through this very dark store, which we are, I suppose, really and truly, shouldn't necessarily be in, but we're not doing any damage. And then up the other side, wow. That's, that's quite a nice view along there, I always think. Let's get the view from here. And in the background, you've got the crows cawing. Yeah. Brilliant. This is this is the stuff of disused railways. You know, it's all still here, but it's in good nick and it's overgrown. And it's a gem there to be found. And you can't beat it. And this is what this is what gets your blood yeah. gushing through the veins. My, I won't say, but my goodness me, <laughs> it works every time. I imagine the first time you 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 come across one of these must be um, where your pulse is racing the fastest. As you, you you find something like this that you've never you've never been to before. Well, I mean, I can only describe the first time I came here. Um, I had no idea it was here. Right. And I nearly fell fell over the edge. <laughs> and it was brilliant. <laughs> yeah. But you can still see a little bit of seating there. Oh gosh. Hiding away. So imagine the folk waiting for their train. Lovely views across the countryside. Fabulous. And from here, you can see all the various platforms, you know. And you can, you can, you know, you just need to use your imagination. Yeah. And the train's drawing in, the smoke is puffing. Yeah. The porters are huffing and puffing also. Yeah. With the luggage, as people are there's staying the, at Goodwood House. Sure. And there's loads of pictures of this online that you can see as it was. We are, we are heading towards the, the water tower. Oh, right. Which is a whopping great big structure just to our left coming up shortly Let's see if I can remember where it is um, so the water tower this is uh, this is the thing that the old steam engines obviously Drank steam yes. had to had to have water and That's right. did most stations have water towers or uh, strategic stations? I, I think strategic yeah so standing at the base of the water tower it's, it's a little bit more clear of vegetation than it had yeah. been in the past but you can see these huge buttress walls Absolutely amazing building. I mean, it, it has a certain, it definitely has a certain magic being Des in the landscape ready to be found. Charm, right? yeah. But in many ways, it, I suppose, it, you know, if somebody knew that people were coming to look at it in desolate charm, yeah. and just maintained it significantly enough that oh, it wasn't, so. that it wasn't yeah. totally, you know, so it wasn't a theme park, yes. but it was just looked after so it didn't completely no, fall to bits. Um, How do you fancy going to see a tunnel? I would love to see a tunnel. On the same line? Same line, yeah, just out the road. Fantastic. It's a cracker. Lead on Macduff. Let's do that. So we're actually up on the embankment now. Yep. We're heading south. Towards the wonderful Woodcocking Tunnel. So just in case the audience didn't get that, we're heading south towards the wonderful Cocking Tunnel. 738 yards long if a yard means anything to you. 
uh, and probably the best longest visible tunnel left in Sussex. So it now says sensitive wildlife area, please keep out. And I'm told that's because it's a bat sanctuary. Um, and I guess that's why you've got these gates yeah. that protrude several feet in front to allow the bats freedom to fly in and out. I have no idea. So there's three of these tunnels in the area. There are, but this is the only one you can actually see down. Right. The other two, uh, there's, this is Cocking Tunnel, and then I think you've got Singleton Tunnel, and then West Dean Tunnel, which is about to be reopened as part of the Centurion Way cycle oh, okay. path. So that should be a buzz, cycling through that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be looking forward to that. And I was just thinking that with the downs, of course, they, they must have tunneled quite a lot of tunnels because it's hard to yeah. get the trains over. Yeah. It's the uh, only way, isn't it's it? It's the only way. It's the only way. Yeah. Well, uh, Dumpman, thank you very much for pleasure. showing me Singleton thank you very much. and the Cocking Everyone Tunnel to and uh, to have a look at all these things. So if you've enjoyed that, do check out the links to Dumpman's videos, which of course you can buy on DVD. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, of course, and leave a comment. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see more railway exploration. That would be great. Of course so, you would. Of course you would. <laughs> So uh, very good value in today's peculiar modern world. There you go. Mm. Couldn't have put it better myself. Well, until the next time, we'll see you again. Bye for now. Bye.